We are at one of the top mountain biking destinations in the country. If you're not familiar with that, it's Northwest Arkansas. We woke up this morning at Prairie Creek Campground because it is only, what, five, six minutes? We're in the process of filling up our tank. Yeah, it got me. <laughs> yeah, we're about five to six minutes from one of the trails that we haven't done in the area. Now there's over 250 miles worth of mountain bike trails in Northwest Arkansas, and we can't do them all. We haven't done them all, and it's been probably three, three years. years. Jinx. Jinx. <laughs> Before, <laughs> since we were last here. And this one is one that I know Kelly's gonna love. It runs right along a lake. It's in a state park called Hobbs State Park. So we're gonna see y'all there and check that out whenever we get the water. Yeah, we're almost done Oh, there here. it goes. Oh, that's time. I, I need to go get it. <laughs> Now, one of the main reasons it's been so long since we've last visited this area, you know, we used to live in a tent and this place is not a tent friendly camping area. Whoa, I forgot how high those blocks were. <laughs> I thought it was just two, I didn't know it was four. And there was only one place at the time that we could tent camp at, which is Blowing Springs Campground. Well, as they built more trails here, it got more popular and it was harder to make reservations to stay there. And this campground that we're at actually closes the last week of October. So with that being the only place, we never made it up here very often once we started vlogging. And we always wanted to try to make it this way, but now that we have this truck camper, it really opens up the locations that we could camp at. And yes, I just had to use all those blocks. And I have just a few more. I'm starting to wonder if putting these blocks in here with our shoes is a good idea because we're starting to have spiders making nests in those orange blocks when they've been on the ground under the truck overnight. All right, let's get to the trailhead. Got the bikes put together, didn't take very long. I'm getting faster at this, y'all. Getting a lot faster. But back a long time ago, I used to mountain bike race and I did a race here on the other side of the highway that the state park goes on either side of. This section was built afterwards and it was the very first monument trail in the state. And what monument trails are, are trails that are funded by the Walton Foundation, built inside of state parks. And this was the first one that they did. I'm very excited because I know Angel Princess is going to love this trail. Yeah, I can't wait. It's been a while since we've been mountain biking and I love personally mountain biking in Arkansas more than any other state that we've mountain biked in. So this makes me really happy that we're doing this right now.
that was so much fun. So loving being back home. It's been great. Y'all, those colors, I was in color overload. I wasn't expecting any fall colors. And then the blue lake mixed in with some yeah. reds and yellows. I was like on a kaleidoscope trip, you know those? <laughs> Is it a kaleidoscope that has the colors? Yeah. That's what I felt like I was in. Yeah, I was gonna say, the colors are popping a lot more up here, more so than they were in central Arkansas. So if you can see here, got some reds and oranges. That tree looks like it's gonna go yellow. So Cody's gonna take these bikes apart. We're gonna stretch, possibly shower, and figure out what we're gonna do with the rest of the day. What do you think? I clean up pretty nice, don't I? You're silly. This evening I have a nice uh, blue jean button up. Would you call this a denim t-shirt? That's a denim. Denim t-shirt with some green pants. Look at that. And then I'm gonna wear my flip flops. It's real fancy, isn't it? We've decided we are gonna go out to eat. It is still a bit early, but that's a good thing because we have no idea where we're sleeping tonight. So we can eat early and find somewhere to go before it gets dark outside. Cody has pretty much an idea of where we're going, but we really have no idea what it, what we're gonna find when we get there. I ain't got a clue we don't know what we're going on. I don't know what she's talking about. I ain't got a clue where we're going. Okay, now I'm even more worried. Okay, I'm where joking. I'm sleeping? joshing, man. I'm joshing. <laughs> there's a trailhead in the National Forest. So in between Bentonville and Fayetteville, there's this little blip of Ozark National Forest. We've tried tent camping in there before. Not very easy because it almost always ends in private property. But there's some trailheads there that we can park this thing at. So that's what we're gonna try Hopefully. to do after we. Oh, we will. We'll be able this, to do it. this trailhead says no overnight parking. Well, this trailhead's a state park. Okay. It's a different. All right. It's a little oh, bit I different. Got... Okay. Oh, my purse. Do you want to hand me that too? Whoops. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Does that do it? Yep. I'm falling. <laughs> Watch out. There's a hole there. What? Paddle boards. Oh, that happens yeah. every time. Every time. Did you open the door up? No, I'll get it. All right. Now we're ready to go. Well, I've already changed shirts. It's a little chilly out. I didn't know it was going to be that cold. Now we're ready to go. We're ready. 100%. Yep. All right, we'll see you at the restaurant. <laughs> We're gonna eat dinner tonight at the Bluefish House. Now, we chose this restaurant because it has a lot of New England inspired dishes. And really, we weren't ready to leave that food and atmosphere. So I'm happy that we found this restaurant. Thank you, brother. You're welcome. Okay, sir. Is this inside or outside? Wherever you want to sit. We're full. <laughs> Although, I will say it didn't hold a candle to New England clam chowder for sure. So we did have a lobster bisque, good the clam chowder. It was We're, missing something. It was missing something. We're gonna have to go back to New England just to eat clam chowder. No, I'm going to make clam chowder. What? Yeah. What? I'm just gonna make it. Shut I don't the know front when, door. but I'm just gonna make clam chowder with like some grilled bread. Oh, that sounds so good. <laughs> Even and I'm we're full, full, but this sounds good. <laughs> All right, but we are gonna head to that little blip of national forest that we talked about. It is a 56 minute drive from here, so she that is how that. I didn't, I didn't know, know that, but that is how inconvenient it is. So if you can see on the map, this is Onyx Off Road that we use all the time. So we're way up here in Bentonville, and the only national forest. Is, well, there's a national forest down here in that green, but there's this little blip. And that's it. That's mm -hmm. all you get right there. Now, we do have a spot saved that we tent camped at, oh gosh, probably four years ago. Oh. Longer? Yeah. Like it 2018. Was, yeah, it was a long time ago, and it was just pretty much like a dead end road in an open field. And that's, that's perfect for this. Oh, um, yeah. So we might go there, and that's what's like 56 minutes from here. We so. might find something before that. If we and it do. would shorten it up, but yeah. this was the worst case scenario. Because we do plan on stay, staying here and riding again tomorrow with you guys. So we 
don't want to make it too long of a drive to get here tomorrow morning because you know we like to sleep <laughs> yeah like today what time did we get up uh 8 45 and i was like gosh are you kidding anyways let's see what we can find oh, man that's gorgeous i had to get that that is just an example of a pretty much everyday sunset in arkansas You want to go back to one of those other spots or keep going? The trees are pretty thick too and close. Mm -hmm. So this trail is coming in really close. It's getting a lot tighter than we remember. But last time we were in the Hummer, so that fits anywhere. So we're going to turn around. We passed like two or three spots on the way in. We're just going to take one of those. Cut it. Cut it. Cutting. Now. Uh, back up straight a little bit and then cut again. Okay. And cut. Cut. Good? Yeah. Okay. No, I don't see any trees in the backup camera. It's just not very... I can't tell much. I don't much. know how low these limbs are. I think it's okay. Yeah. I don't know what's going in the front, though. Oh, uh, the front's good. This, for us, is a normal evening, y'all. Get out. Uh, if you want. This is a normal evening. I good? Come on back. Okay. Back a more. No, I can cut it. You can come back a little more. Well, can I? I'm gonna cut it and back up. What? I'm gonna cut it and then back up now. Can I get in? Yeah, come on in. Come on in. Oh, there's rocks. Yeah, these, they're they're kind of sketchy. So the rock formations up here in the Ozarks, or especially the Springfield Plateau, is completely different from the Boston Mountain region or the Washita's. They're it's kind of chalky, and they make a lot of a lot of sounds. It's kind of scary. But this is a normal, typical backing up, finding camp night that we've never showed y'all before. Yep, because it's always dark. It's always dark. Always dark. All right, we found our home for the night, and you're probably wondering, why do you go through that? Well, listen. It's just crickets. It's peace. Oh, if I turn crickets. this up, no street lights. Yeah, it's gonna be completely dark. I'm gonna wake up disoriented when I have to go use the restroom in the middle of the night. It's gonna be so dark out here, and we love it. Okay, we're gonna get in here, and we're gonna settle in, and we'll see you guys in the morning. We're hurting, y'all. Our sit bones are in so much pain from the saddle of the bike. Yeah, I mean, I'm actually not feeling that bad, but yes, I know when I sit on that seat, yeah, it's gonna be hurting. And that's what we're about to do again today. It's gonna be so much fun. Actually, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm in the mountain biking. Yeah. Oh, my salt. You got your pinch yet? Mm -hmm. yeah, it's really salty for the morning. First thing in the morning. morning. First. That's why I drink this first. What's on your beer? Salt. So what's on the menu for this morning? Because I don't ever remember what you're cooking next. Uh, I think I'm going to do baked oatmeal. Is that okay? That sounds good. Okay. Baked oatmeal it is. Is it the white chocolate baked oatmeal? Yeah, white chocolate raspberry. That's what I'm talking about. This has by far become our favorite way to eat oatmeal is by baking it. I have tried it on the stove top. I've done the overnight oats. And I think the overnight oats are really good, but they're cold. And a lot of the times in the mornings when we get up, we're cold. And so it's just kind of like, that's kind of a, a warm weather thing to me. So we're really digging the baked oats. Now uh, you can dress them up however you want, but we've really been digging the raspberry white chocolate. And I'm not really sure where I got that from. I think I might've seen something else that was raspberry white chocolate. And I was like, I'm gonna do raspberry white chocolate baked oats. So here we are. We've got to clean these berries. I just use uh, distilled veneer, white veneer. I'm gonna do some eggs. And we're gonna do some milk. Some salt. Almond extract for this one. Oops, and I'm wasting it all over the counter. The whole truck smells like almond extract now. Yeah, that's, I'll probably put too much in it there. It smells good though. <laughs> it smells so good. And then we're gonna do some flour. Before I add the rest of the stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and light the oven here. 
And we're gonna go 350 on the oven. Let's go for our oats. I just wanna mix it up really good, of course. So now I have my little bread pan, and it's just the perfect size for this. I put parchment paper in it just for easy cleanup, and then I'm putting it in on my cast iron so that it can help it not burn on the bottom. And it's not that it burns in my oven, it just gets really stiff, it's really crunchy. So we're gonna pour this in here. And you can just mix it up in your own little pan that you're gonna bake it in. I just do it this way because it's kind of hard to mix all this stuff up in the parchment paper. Now we got our berries. I think they've been soaking long enough. I like to go ahead and just drop my berries in there, just random on top. And then I just like to push them down just a little bit. Then we have our white chocolate. And to me, the favorite, my favorite chocolate and Cody's as well is the Ghirardelli. And I like to just get it in the bars. I don't really buy the other one if I can find it in the bar. The other one is like the um, morsels, the tiny little. And then I'm just gonna break it up. All right, let's pop this in the oven. Got to be very careful. <laughs> that was hot. <laughs> All right, we're gonna leave that in there for about 30 minutes. It looks like it's done. I just checked it a little bit, make sure the inside's fully cooked. And it is plates down. And what I normally do is I just half it. Does the bottom look better? Yeah, it's not as bad as if I, when I don't put the parchment paper. Kind of hot. I can feel it you coming to the plate. Okay. Oh, well that's easier. Could have just done that. Whatever. Ah! That's hot. Yes, but I was just cow. talking about. That'd help you out, but there. There you go. I'm going to miss out on that chocolate. There we go, that's the pretty one. Man, look at that. Actually, it's better than normal. Caster and really help us. Or it's all the almond extract. There's a half a bottle of high mm -hmm. quality almond extract. Well, we're about to wrap it up here and we are gonna head on for today's adventure and we are going to be mountain biking in Bentonville. We're gonna go through the downtown. We're gonna hit up some local trails around the area. We haven't been up here, like we said, in a while. So it's been a long time since we've done that and we're excited about it today. Y'all might not believe this, but I got these mountain bikes put together in 15 minutes flat. I know it's still time consuming when you could just take them off the back of a vehicle, but having the peace of mind of knowing that they're always out of sight, out of mind, and being able to make sure that they're always clean because we go down some nasty roads and they're dirty, but we don't want them caked up with really hard clay. We've had that happen before. That's what, that's another reason for us putting these in a bag stowed away, but 15 minutes flat, that's not bad at all in my opinion. Now today we are gonna be riding through downtown Bentonville like Kelly said, and then cutting through and doing some of the All-American Trail down to Slaughter Pen Trail System. Probably some of the coolest trails in the area besides Kohler. Kelly's a little nervous with Kohler because she did a front flip off of her bike on a tabletop once and she has not wanted to go back and try to tackle Kohler again. So we're just gonna go do some of the Slaughter Pen Trail System. Sound good, babe? Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm not doing Kohler. We did not have any clue that there's an event going on downtown this weekend. I just wasn't expecting that, but we just rode from downtown, which is right behind us, and we're gonna do the All-American Trail starting from downtown. How cool is that? <laughs> Oh, hey, y'all.
It was fun, but I couldn't ride any more if I had to right now. It's been so long since I put that many miles in. I can't feel my tush. What about you, Angel Princess? Um, yeah, I'm hurting. I need to stretch. I am definitely not cooking tonight because I'm exhausted. My legs are like literally shaking right now. <laughs> I don't know how many miles we put in, y'all. It was, it was a lot. It was probably eight yesterday and probably another 10 15 today for somebody that hadn't ridden since idaho three months ago well and you did ago. way more advanced jumps and stuff i didn't do any of that yeah but let's see what we can uh, find to eat tonight that's my job we're all cleaned up and we're ready to go y'all feeling good so tonight we decided we're gonna go to one of our favorite restaurants last night we tried something different tonight we're gonna go to one of our favorites it's tavola it's an italian restaurant downtown we've eaten there a million times it's so good so let's go We made it back safely to the same exact spot we were at last night. I am so full. I am so tired. I think we're going to pass out as soon as our head hit that pillow. After dinner was over, all I told Kelly I was thinking about was crawling under the blankets and brush mm -hmm. my teeth. I wanted to brush my teeth. Oh, of course. And then crawl under the blankets and just pass out. Yeah, done. We're done. We're spent. But we'll catch you on the other. See ya. What do I believe? What may 